Hi, I'm Sarinya Ghosh, a third year student at MIT Manipal and in this video, we'll be talking about everything about lateral entry at my college. I'll be attaching a PDF related to all the information in the description, so keep an eye out on that. With that being said, let's begin. First things first, what is a lateral entry? A lateral entry is admission to a college after the first year, which means that instead of having to spend the usual four years for a B.Tech degree, you just spend three of them in the university who all are eligible. It is only for students who got a diploma right after their 10th grade. I used to think that it was for people who wanted to transfer universities after their first year for whatever reasons. But I was kind of wrong in that assessment, but there's an opportunity for that too. Stick until the end of this video to hear about a special case. The bare minimum you need to do is have a three-year diploma respective engineering stream from a state board of technical education with minimum 45% aggregate marks or equivalent which makes you eligible to apply. You have to apply for your lateral entry in your final year of your diploma studies. The exact deadline kind of varies every year so it's crucial to keep an eye on the college website. The official Manipal website will always give you the updates or if you're looking for some other college, make sure you contact the university at periodic intervals. This is done typically after your last semester, so most of the times you will have your grades for only 5 semesters of your course. Your last semester's marks might not be accounted for because most of the times they're not out yet. The criteria primarily revolves on scoring well in your diploma courses. There are 6 semesters, so by the time you apply, you will be having your 5 semesters grades. If you have all 6 of them, well and good. For some colleges, you might have to appear for an entrance test. All the students that I interviewed who got into MIT through a lateral entry, none of them had to. But it is always good to call up the university and speak to your own college as well about the requirements. It might be mandatory for some particular students hailing from certain colleges. I would highly recommend asking the university in advance if there's a test because you need time to prep for it as well. Each branch has a different number of slots available for lateral entry. For instance, in aeronautical engineering, there were only two spots. Guaranteed that it's a smaller branch. For the other bigger ones, it might be around 10 to 15. As for the branch allocation, you need to indicate your preferences during the application process and of course, it needs to be related to your diploma course. Congratulations! If your name is on one of the three lists released by the university, you're in! Consider yourself to be a Manipalite now. There is one additional thing that you should know. In our first two years of college, we have four courses of math. Engineering Math 1 in our first semester, Engineering Math 2 in our second semester, EM3 in the third semester and EM4 in the fourth semester. Since you will be directly getting admitted to your second year, which requires Math 1 and math 2 as course prerequisites, you'll have to take them along with your normal classes. I've also explained in detail about all the topics involved. You can watch them right here to get additional information on it. If you've made it so far, here's a bonus case for you. One of the students I interviewed, they revealed that they got into MIT Manipal through a lateral entry despite not having a diploma. But that's simply not possible. What happened is, she'd first enrolled herself into MIT Manipal in her first year and then attended one full month of classes and then transferred to a different university. She didn't really like it there at the other universities and wanted to switch back. She mailed the university about this, showed her the first year transcripts from that other college, gave them her MET rank and voila, she got into her second year at MIT. This seems like a special case because it is, but it wouldn't hurt to try. Her friend got into MUJ without ever having attended that university before. So, if you're having second thoughts about the university that you're currently in, maybe first year is not going as you would expect it, you could always consider emailing MIT and asking for concessions. That is it for today. This was a really, really requested video, so I had to interview several different candidates for it. Ask away all the questions that you might have. 
As always, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, bye bye.